Wright State University's Nutter Center near Dayton, Ohio has been invaded by robots. But they're not evil robots. They're vehicles made from Legos for the Ion Urban Challenge, which is a national robotics competition for high school students. It's an opportunity for them to take their math and science that they learn in the classroom and apply it in a real world application that scientists and engineers across the Air Force and across the nation are working on. That's right. She said the Air Force. In fact, the Air Force Research Laboratory at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is a primary sponsor for this event with the intent to inspire future engineers. And because of AFRL... Everything you see here is free to the students. There's no entry fees. Um, they're given the software and the hardware to keep in the classroom. And they use it all to build a robot. But what exactly does it have to do? What the kids have to do is they have to be able to uh, tell the robot when to stop at stop signs. Uh, when to, oh, this is my parking spot, I need to park here, and which parking spot to park in. The crazy part is, they do it all without a controller. It's autonomous. There's no remote control. <laughs> the best part is whenever you actually get the program and it works. And it worked well. It worked so well, in fact, that they can't wait to come back next year. Understanding the experience coming the first time and heading into next year, what we learned is going to really set us up for a nice performance next time. We're definitely going to come back next year and be better. Reporting from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, I'm Airman First Class, Richard Ware.